Hey everyone, and welcome back to Finance Trends. Today we're going to be talking about the end of Dan Bilzerian and Ignite. Make sure you stay until the end, so you see Dan Bilzerian's sneaky plan to escape the allegations against him. Initially, Dan Bilzerian appears to have everything. His Instagram paints a picture of a lifestyle that would be displayed next to the definition of hedonism in a dictionary. He always has a bevy of bikini-clad beauties on hand whether he's at the beach, flying his private jet, or even lying in bed. His wealth seems massive, affording him the luxury of a life of constant jet-setting and pleasure-seeking. The story goes that he made his fortune off playing high-stakes poker, and it's the story he stays with, paying little mind to who he addresses with respect to the well-being of his abundance. But this story has fallen under scrutiny lately from actual poker players who have criticisms ranging from the fact that Bilzerian just isn't that good of a poker player to the fact that there just isn't as much money to be made in poker as he claims to have made. The individuals who have attempted to follow the real wellspring of his abundance have found that Dan's dad, Paul Bilzerian, served jail time for violations related with his experiences as a corporate looter. Though he was ordered to pay a $62 million civil judgment fine for securities fraud, Paul Bilzerian only paid $3.7 million. As for the whereabouts of the rest of his fortune, that remains a mystery, but it's not a far leap of the imagination to assume that he utilized offshore and domestic trusts to protect any remaining assets for his family. It might be enticing to believe that an Instagram VIP furnished with a personal luxury plane, a pack of alluring ladies available to his no matter what, and a few armloads of another person's cash has precisely zero issues. That is how our society trains you to think, and envying someone in this situation is even more compelling. In the context of months-long coronavirus-induced isolation, but at least in the case of Dan Bilzerian, this thinking is wrong. For the CEO of Ignite, a still incessant and still incohate cannabis brand, the COVID-19 summer of 2020 has presented challenges aplenty, and if like the last month is any indication, the autumn may be worse. First came the news in July that Ignite was $50 million in the red, a budgetary difficulty that constrained Bilzerian's organization to consent to end the rent on his lease by the organization Los Angeles House, even as he was yachting around the Mediterranean. Meanwhile, shares in the company tanked, slipping from $1.44 Canadian to about $0.36 cents as of the most recent trading. Bad uptakes and bad business, but the lesson of the year 2020 is that there is no bottom, and so, late last week, news broke that Canmart, a distribution company that moves Ignite branded products in Canada, where Bill Zarin's firm is publicly traded, was ending its relationship with Ignite. Hypothesis is overflowing that web big name and lord of Instagram Dan Bill Zarin is a stressed man, as his organization Ignite keeps on floundering in bankruptcy. The poker player turned internet personality could be fleeing the country as his company stares at closure in just a few weeks. Dan Bilzerian, infamously known as the king of Instagram, is an American bench capitalist with 32.5 million followers on the Instagram platform. He is also an amateur poker player and has claimed that he got honorably discharged from the US Navy SEALs after completing his training. On Instagram, most of his posts are about his extravagantly rich lifestyle. Company in a worse financial crisis. According to a YouTuber, Tom Nash, who, as of late, examined Ignite's budgetary records for the past six months, the company is in dire financial situation and that could see them close up shop in just two weeks. Recently, Dan Bilzerian, who is Ignite's founder and CEO, has been posting pro-Armenian nationalist tweets that have left everyone wondering what's really going on with Dan and his company. Some months ago, a report by Forbes revealed that the Ignite company lost a staggering $50 million in 2019, which has been seen as lavish spending by the CEO. Ignite International Brands specializes in several products, including electronic cigarettes, cannabis, and others. Notwithstanding, Dan Bilzerian has excused such bits of gossip, as confirmed by his ongoing tweets. In one of his tweets, he referenced Uber as an illustration to draw an equal and counter-liquidation theory about Ignite. Dan Bilzerian has been condemned by a significant number of substance makers previously, and was purportedly called the man-child of Instagram by YouTube affiliate. His sources of funding is the company Ignite International Limited, of which he's the CEO and founder. However, recently, it has been claimed that, like most of his life, it's based upon lies. Dan Bilzerian going bankrupt, facing legal troubles. Back in July, Bloomberg had detailed that previously, Ignite President Curtis Heffernan has recorded a suit against the organization, guaranteeing that he was terminated for declining to support Dan Bilzerian's excessive spendings. The company has not been in the best financial shape and received $1.2 million in Paycheck Protection Program loans from the US government in 2019. Furthermore, Ignite International Limited reported a loss of over $50 million last year, which has been widely attributed to the CEO's extravagant spending. The company currently has more liabilities than assets, and Dan Bilzerian has been allegedly funneling investors' money to fuel his expensive habits. In the video that can be seen at the end of the article, 
YouTuber Jamari talks about all these issues, and also questioned Daniel Zarid's poker skills. The 39-year-old has been widely said to be a below-average poker player, and has been criticized for his Casanova-like lifestyle, especially with younger women. Moreover, the company that he founded is basically bankrupt and at the same time owes over $40 million to investors. Presidential Changes Remember that Ignite is a customer-centered brand that doesn't generally appear to sell all that much. The company reported $1.6 million in sales in 2020 in its most recent financial statement, good for only about $600,000 in actual profit. Add that to the news that Ignite shuffled company leadership again last month, John Schaefer, who recently put time in at a cannabis unicorn MedMen, took over as president on September 1st, Ignite's third president since June. And what you're left with is a picture of a failing business sinking further into turmoil, or whatever this is. At least Schaefer, who boasts of stops at grocery chain Wegmans and pharmaceutical giant Bayer's agricultural wing in addition to a year at MedMen, itself is a bit of an ongoing dumpster fire. There's some continuity. According to his LinkedIn, Schaefer's been with Ignite for more than a year, joining the company as chief operating officer in August 2019 following his stint with MedMen, which he departed before the company imploded. Schaefer took over from Lester Lee, whose term as president endured barely short of a quarter of a year. Lee, whose previous ventures included selling something called Energy Gum, remains at the company's board of directors, and Lee was installed as president in early June when he replaced Curtis Heffernan. Heffernan exited on June 8th to pursue other opportunities, Ignite initially claimed in a press release. That's true in a sense, but Heffernan is currently pursuing a lawsuit against Ignite, among other things. Firing him as retaliation for pushing back against what he criticized as Dan Bilzerian's wanton and wild spending on the company credit card. Heffernan wasn't on the job very long himself. He took over from Jim McCormick in November 2019, but he has the distinction of being Ignite's second longest tenured president. Woo! Four presidents in less than a year. What's next for Ignite other than searching for the next future ex president? It's an excellent question. Touchoff neglected to document his Q2 financials on schedule, delivering it only more than two months after the cutoff time. However, this actually brings up a great deal of issues. In any case, they at least delivered it so no one could discover them. It's not on their website, which is shocking. What kind of public company doesn't put its own financials on its own website? That's unheard of. So they throw it on some website which is really hard to get to. The Ignite company started the year with $15.1 million and ended the second quarter with $5.8 million. That implies more than $9 million in just six months, translating into a million and a half every month. Basically, Dan Bilzerian is a trustafarian. However, given the result of his undertakings, he's not an extremely brilliant one. In addition to his trust fund, Bilzerian has been using the company Ignite International Brands Limited as something of a personal treasure trove. There seems to be a lot of online personalities gleefully covering Bilzerian's deception. Perhaps it's because they can't stand him as a person. Perhaps it's to throw it in his followers' faces. The source of his money doesn't matter as much as the illusion that he's sold. The truth doesn't matter as long as the illusion is still standing strong. And if Dan is a master at anything, it's a building the illusion for men and women. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen. See you there!